Hey, what is going on guys? Here it is, Irish Royal Gamer, and I have something in my throat, so hold on for just one second. Sorry, hopefully that uh, didn't record. I pressed the mute button for a reason. And uh, this is my second time recording this commentary, so I'm sorry if I sound a little bit drained. Um, but um, today we are going to play a little Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. And so I just need to fix this. Hold on. No rivers. No mountains. Start. Okay. So what I wanted to be talking to you, wanted I wanted to talk to you guys about, is um something going on in my life, and uh, the other people in this channel's life. So I'm just gonna be blunt. Oh, I mean I can draw a swastika. I'm not going to though. Um. I did a bad thing. I. Okay, so let's get let's get a long a little story started, and then we can uh, begin. Um, there's a guy on this channel named Burr64. He's a great guy. I know him in real life. He's very nice. What the fuck? Oh boy, I can't hatch anything. So I get I get to. Oh, God damn it. Okay, so. There's, um, there's a, um, person, yeah, like I said, there's Garrett, or, fuck, Rare64 on this channel, and, um, he's a good friend of mine, we're close, but, um, I did something to hurt him, and now he's, I don't know if he realizes it, but he's doing something back to hurt me, and I'm not sure if he realizes it. But uh, hopefully he doesn't. I'd be kind of sad if he did. But um, what I mean by that is, I, oh God, I hate admitting this. I kissed one of his exes. Or his ex, actually. He doesn't have any exes. No offense. But um, I kissed his ex. Just one, a one, one day kiss, and nothing ever happened. I didn't fuck her. I didn't bang her or all the weird shit that's going around school now. But I just kissed her. That's all I did. I feel bad for it, but mentally saying I didn't do anything wrong, but everyone seems to think that she's a whore now, so I guess I did do something wrong. But I digress. Humans humans are uh, a hard bunch to follow. Now, why I'm bringing this up to you guys is now he seems to have made it his life goal to make fun of me for it. Um, and what I mean by that is he is always making jokes about it and making me feel like shit because of it and just bullshit like that and today I'm gonna be teaching you guys about love and about revenge now first we're gonna be talking about love because love is nice actually fuck it we're starting with revenge because I wanna end happy um love or fuck revenge <laughs> god damn it revenge is um Revenge is like a ghost. It takes over everything it that okay, I'm not going into there. But um it's true in a way. You're not gonna get out of something if you hate someone. I hate someone because I blame them for this and psychologically speaking it was their fault for telling someone telling everyone. So uh if you and you know who the fuck you are, if you ever see this video, this is a big fuck you to you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you! Like, you know, I'm serious. I'm not very happy with that person. However, I'm dealing with it very well. Instead of, say, yelling at them, or cussing them out, or cussing them out, or yelling at them, or yelling and cussing them. See, I did something different. But instead of doing shit like that, I ignore them. And that is the best thing you can do when you're angry at someone and I'm telling you this right now guys it's working great um, life's easier without <coughs> sorry without them in my life life is um, just nice however they're trying to piss me off they're the girl is constantly trying to get me to talk to her um, I'm 99% sure she has a crush on me so it's fucking annoying she's constantly trying to get me to talk to her to 
acknowledge her something and I won't do it I'm, I'm not gonna stoop to her level but it's starting to get to a point where I'm gonna have to talk to her about it and I already know so uh, here are some tips on talking to someone you hate number one use a, a different form of social communications other than physical talking that includes texting Facebook email video chat something where you can't punch the person that is a great start however if you can't here are some tips for in real life <coughs> Sorry. Step one, don't yell. Step two, don't cuss. Step three, don't physically harm them or make fun of them. Step four, try and stay calm. Step five, try and stay neutral. Step six, try and look at it from their perspective. And step seven, don't try not try not to do it alone. Uh, if you have someone with their you, someone with you, it always things are always easier. Like if you're talking to a girl that you like, it's always easier if you have a friend there. You guys know that I'm sure, but um, it's in a really sucky position where you have to talk to them because you really don't want to. And <coughs> I'm so sorry, my cough is acting up. I need to go get some water after this. But um, if you guys have to talk to them try and be nice, try and be calm, because if you're a dick, then you're a dick, and uh, they'll just spread more shit about you, and you'll get pissed off more at them, um, another good dog, I swear to god, I'm not dealing with you, go away, go away, go away, um, if you guys need more tips, um, there is, of uh, ways to make it easier on yourself, that being, that being that um you need <coughs> sorry you need um you need to say just away from them completely <coughs> i'm going to keep coughing until i get something to drink i realize that now and i think i'm going to move on to the different part of this commentary cuz i really want to talk about that now now if there's someone that you really care about and you really love and you don't want to live without them you gotta prove it to them and what I mean by that is that you don't be a dick you don't you don't hurt them you don't abuse them you don't cheat on them you don't do stupid fucking shit that everyone seems to do the people they love you don't do that okay you don't be that asshole. Okay? You show the person that you love that you love them with all your heart and you make sure they know that. There's someone that I love. There's someone that I care about. And it's really hard for me to talk about her. But I'm going to try to for you guys. I really care about her. She's a great perfect girl and I love her and I wish she was still here but her father doesn't approve of our relationship so he cut off all communications between us she doesn't live down the street she lives in a different state the state right over so Arizona and I'm taking a risk I'm going to try sending her a letter, just a letter. And if I, the father threatened to arrest me, and if I get arrested for it, I get arrested for it. I don't care. I'll take it because I love her, and I want her back. Sometimes in life, you love someone, and you're going to love them for the rest of your life. Whether if you break up or not. Whether if, I swear to God, you fucking dog, get in the goddamn covers! If you love them, if you want them, as much as you say to them that you do, you prove it to them every day that you have them. I didn't do that. I was a shitty boyfriend before we got into this. And I feel like crap. I, I'm not, my life is so changed from this. I might have to quit YouTube over this. This simple little thing. One little girl. Actually, she's not that little. She's older than me. But one girl changed my life. 
made it so I might not be able to do YouTube. One other human being can change your life so drastically that never will it be the same. Not with someone else, not with anything. My mom is 57 years old. She's not young, but she tries to be. However, one of the things I noticed she's been doing lately, and she's done this ever since I was 10 apparently, she goes to her ex's, her uh, ex-husband's, and just looks, doesn't like try and talk to him, just looks. And I feel really bad for her. I, I wish that she didn't, because it's putting a lot of stress on her and my dad and me even. And sometimes you can't fix that. And what that means, probably nothing to you guys, but to me, it changes almost everything in my life. It's making me realize that I'm going to love this girl until I die. And even if I do get married and have seven kids like I want, I'm still going to love her somewhere in my heart. I'm still going to... I'm still going to, I'm sorry, I'm still going to have that feeling in my heart that I could have done something, that I should have changed, and I didn't. And I don't want to live with that for the rest of my life, but I'm going to have to, and chances are you will too. That's the entire reason I'm making this video, is to help you guys understand and try to help avoid I don't I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. It's not fair in any way. And I hope it never happens. But in the small chance that I do get her back, you can be fucking damn well sure I'm never letting her go. That's how much she matters to me. That's how much a person can matter to you. And I don't know if you guys realize that. She's so amazing in my eyes. And I fucked everything up. I could have... <laughs> I couldn't keep all my promises to her that I made. And I regret that. I regret never helping her. I regret... <laughs> never doing all the things that we promised each other. I'm so distraught. I'm willing to send her a letter that I don't even know if she's ever going to get. <laughs> that I don't know if it's going to send me in jail or if <clears throat> it's going to affect my life at all. That I'm willing to put everything I have on the table just to know that she knows that I'm still there. That I'm still alive. In life, guys, you have to understand that you can't let anything hold you back from the one that you love. Whether it be friends, family, that awkward Jewish priest, you can't let it be anyone. You gotta get to them. And if you can't, then you're gonna be like me. You're gonna be distraught for the rest of your life, and it's gonna change your life. And I hope that happens to none of you because it affects me so greatly that it's slowly tearing me apart inside. I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary and I hope you guys uh, learned something. Leave a like please for this one video. That's the only time I'm ever going to ask for a like. Sorry for the stupid gameplay. I, wasn't, I was just talking. I didn't even pay attention. So, uh, Peace out, guys. Hope you have a great weekend.